Do you have sin in your life that you're struggling with and it seems like no matter how hard you try, you can't get the victory, but you want to gain the victory? If that's the case, keep watching because in this video, I'm going to give you five steps to gain the victory over repetitive sin. But before I do that, if you enjoy my channel and you're looking for more channels with inspiring Christian content, I highly recommend Doug Batchelor's YouTube channel. Doug Batchelor is a Christian preacher and pastor. I've been listening to his messages for over 15 years and they've helped me gain a better understanding of the Bible and strengthen my faith. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen or the link in the video description to subscribe to Doug Batchelor on YouTube today. Now for the steps. Number one, have faith in the promises of God's word. Many people fail to live a consistent Christian life because they lack faith or understanding in the promises of God's word. A lack of faith is detrimental to the Christian life and we can't expect Jesus to manifest his power in our life when we're living in doubt. This reminds me of when Jesus was rejected in Nazareth. He was teaching in the synagogue and his hearers were offended by him. Matthew chapter 13 verses 54 through 58 says, When he had come to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? So they were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Their unbelief restricted Jesus from performing mighty works. And if you're living in doubt, Jesus won't be able to manifest his power in your life. Not to mention, we never excel beyond the limits that we set for ourselves. So if you believe it's impossible to overcome sinful living, you will never live a victorious Christian life. Now, in terms of some Bible verses that guarantee victory over sin, Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 tells us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All things includes overcoming temptation and sin. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. No temptation is too powerful for God. God is more powerful than the devil and whatever the devil tempts you with, God is willing and able to help you overcome it. Number two, pray. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 26 verse 41, Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Prayer increases spiritual strength. When we pray, we invite God into our lives and He aids us in our struggles. Also, prayer shifts our attention to God so we are focused more on Him and His will. Number three, resist temptation. James chapter 4 verse 7 tells us, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Do you want to gain the victory over repetitive sin in your life? Resist the devil and his temptations. The problem we have sometimes, though, is resisting the devil on a continual basis. We give up too easily. Then we're overcome by temptation and sin and feel guilty. The solution is to stay focused on Jesus. This reminds me of when Jesus commanded Peter to walk on the sea. Matthew chapter 14 verses 28 through 31 says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? Jesus enabled Peter to do something supernatural, walk on water. Jesus enables us to do something supernatural too, live victoriously over sin. When Peter became distracted by the storm around him, he took his focus off Jesus and began to sink. When we take our focus off Jesus and become distracted by the storms of life, we sink as well and we are unable to fulfill the word of Jesus. 
But if we stay focused on Jesus, we can fulfill His word. Remember also that God will reward those who remain faithful to Him. James chapter 1, verse 12 says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. And don't forget there are consequences to our disobedience. If we allow ourselves to continue being overcome by temptation, there exists the possibility that we can end up lost. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Practicing lawlessness means living a life of habitual law-breaking. Those who live that way, even though they claim to be Christians, will not make it into heaven. Quick disclaimer though, I am not condemning everyone who has ever sinned. I understand there are times when Christians fall into temptation or struggle with sin. And whether you are overcome by the occasional temptation or are struggling with some kind of sin in your life right now, if you genuinely repent from your sins and confess them to God, He will forgive you. That's a Bible promise. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But if you give up the struggle because you think you can't gain the victory for whatever reason, and you continue living in habitual sin, there is no forgiveness for that. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 makes this clear, stating, For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. Number four, avoid temptation. Do you want to gain the victory over repetitive sin in your life? Avoid tempting situations. For example, if you have a problem with smoking, avoid people who smoke. Just don't hang around with them. By decreasing your exposure to temptation, that will decrease your chances to sin. If you have an uncontrollable appetite when it comes to eating donuts, walk down a different street so you don't pass the bakery and you're tempted to buy donuts. Do you have a problem with looking at websites that you know you're not supposed to be looking at? Install a program on your computer which blocks those websites or use your computer in a room which is inhabited often, like your living room, to decrease your chances of visiting those websites. If you do this for long enough, you'll eventually get used to not eating donuts or not smoking cigarettes or whatever you're struggling with. Also, behavior is habit forming, so if you do this for long enough, it will become a habit. That is true both of good and of bad habits. So continue practicing good things and they will become good habits in your life while at the same time helping you break bad habits. Number five, try some fasting. If all else fails, try some fasting. If you tried all of the other things in this video and they didn't produce results, try some fasting as well. Jesus indicated that some challenges are only overcome by fasting and prayer. For example, when Jesus' apostles had difficulty casting a demon out of a demon-possessed boy and they asked Jesus why they couldn't do it, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, This kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Fasting helps you experience spiritual breakthroughs in your life. Fasting has many benefits including clearer thinking, better sensitivity to the convictions and leading of the Holy Spirit, and it helps condition you to deny yourself. Fasting is a powerful tool in the Christian life. Check out my Christian t-shirt store by clicking on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen or the link in the video description. My shirts come in a variety of styles, sizes, and colors, and they can be a good conversation starter to help you share your faith. Not to mention proceeds from your purchase help keep my channel going. Also, I'm offering a 10% discount on all purchases for a limited time now through Sunday. Order now to take advantage of this discount. If you have difficulty overcoming repetitive sin in your life, have faith in the promises of God's word which guarantee us victory over sin. Pray to invite God into your life to aid you in your struggles. Resist temptation. Avoid tempting situations, and if all else fails, try some fasting. Is there something that you do that helps you gain the victory over sin, 
that you may sometimes struggle with in your life that I didn't mention in this video? If so, let me know in the comments section. I'd like to know what helps you the most and it could also encourage others reading the comments. Subscribe if you're new and click the bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and share it. Click on the screen to check out some more of my YouTube videos. I have a lot of good Christian videos which I'm sure you'll enjoy if you liked this one. Thank you for watching and God bless you.